Nights at Freddy's trailer is lying to you. Well, maybe, maybe not. We're going to go over that. The reason I say we, my nephew's joining me, the FNAF expert. Say what's up, Ali. What's up? What's up? Today, we're going to break down this whole trailer. I'm a noob. He's a pro. It should be interesting. Let's get right into it. This is Mike. I was just calling mm. to see if that... All right. First off, is this Michael Afton? Michael Afton confirmed? I, th I was thinking he was Michael Afton, but in the casting, he's actually called Mike Smith. But we'll get to that in a second. We're still One available. Second. Yeah. Look at this guy. Steve Raglan, right? One second. Yeah. The security guard. I will take anything. Listen to how he yeah. said that. The security guard. I will take... That was super sinister, right? So you might be saying, oh, this is Michael Afton and this is some, some new character, Steve Raglan, right? So surprise, that right there is Michael Afton, right? And also you see the girl and the guy, it's Mike uh, Schmidt and Abby Schmidt or whatever. My nephew thinks that they might be, uh, what's it called, father and daughter or whatever. But uh, interesting thing is, right, why do they have different last names? It could be they were adopted, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Yes. The security. You see that notice. So basically, this is completely different than the FNAF storyline where he's like actively going to like go with the animatronics, right? Here, he's actually desperate and like basically he's, you know, down on his luck. You know what I mean? Doesn't have a lot of money. He's like me, college student, right? I will take anything. I will take anything. So it proves he's really desperate for the job. Listen to this very this carefully. Was huge in the 80s with 80s. The kids. Mm -hmm. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. Why is that important? Ali, break it down, brother. Not meaning to let go, so maybe mm -hmm. William. So this probably has to be right after 1987, the bite of 87, because mm -hmm. he still didn't want to let it go because of all the tragedies that happened, but he still mm -hmm. wants to keep his company. So, yeah. you know. Now, why is it what my nephew said important? Because why does William Afton have a whole new identity? And what's the whole thing we're trying to keep the company? So basically, this kind of shows that William is in the background doing a lot of things, which could be trying to get his son and maybe his son's daughter luring them into the building, right? But I want you guys to look at something very interesting. You Listen to their voices. Available. Yes. Listen to this. The security guard. I will. The security guard. But look, what? how does it look at this? Huge in the 80s with the kid. Though it sounds like these are two completely different people. This sounds more like available. Afton. Yes. The like the, yes, the sinister Batman 80s villain, right? And then look at this. 80s with the kids. Typical, you know, like trucker from Texas, right? So that's what really fascinated me. Let's continue Shut on. It down. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. I don't understand why he brought her, but maybe because he's down on his luck. Maybe just has to do something with the plot, honestly. Yeah, so let's continue on. I want you guys to look at this right now. Come here, Ed. You see how when he opens the door, it's kind of like the place was abandoned. Isn't the whole thing that there were security guards before this? But it is kind of interesting how they are breaking into it. So, and obviously you see prices, you see Bonnie, you see Chica, the bunch of photos. I don't know what the whole astronaut thing is, but it's whatever. Now let's get into these photos. That could be Mangle. Obviously we see Foxy. That looks like Shrek, orange Shrek. That's Chica, the girls, and the family. Honestly, are relating to the, the original five characters. And Freddy. My guy, Foxy. I wonder what FNAF game had vents, Ali. What? Well, I I don't remember. Was it was it FNAF? Uh, FNAF four had vents, Ali. No. Was it FNAF one? No. I think it, I think Ali. What was it? It was FNAF two, two. And three and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw the art style is FNAF one. They're pulling in vents. It's kind of weird how they're like plugging in. This seems like a whole like alternate universe. Honestly, let's continue I on. Think it has All to you be. have to. Keep your eyes on the monitor. Who does he sound like? Phone guy. Does he? Listen to the phone guy. The owner's just not ready to let it go. Does he sound like the phone guy or... Yes. Or William? He sounds like the phone guy. Me personally, I think he sounds kind of like William, but it could be the phone guy. Let's talk about the security office for a second, because it definitely does not look like any one of the games. Also, not even look at these three. TVs. What time period is this in, though? Actually, uh, I kind of noticed this is not... I don't think this is modern. Yeah. This might be like 90s. To early 2000s this is very and what the heck yeah oh, dude. but the building the building was abandoned though true obviously this is the uh the cast and i think you guys saw it celebrate naf1 posters that's Just w easter egg foxy and foxy's cove yeah you do see Just foxy you do see foxy foxy's right cove. there eyes on the monitor welcome to freddy i don't know what this is about i'm gonna be honest yeah, with you me neither. I don't know. <laughs> this always reminds me of poppy playtime that wave was suspect. Apparently, she's from the uh, security breach. She's the lady there. Listen to what she says. Hey, new security guard. 
new security guard. Why would she say that? It's almost as if she's implying that there were other security guards previously, right? Not only that, why did the place look abandoned? It's like a weird dichotomy. Very suspect. Honestly, she could be a hallucination. She could be fake. I don't know. Let's keep watching. Can I uh, help you? Have you met them yet? Interesting. A cop is saying, have you met them yet? Look at this. Could this be Chica? Could this be Bonnie? Could this be Foxy? It is kind of weird how Freddy is, right? Nebraska. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why Nebraska. I, I might be reaching. My nephew thinks I'm reaching. This could be pills and this could be him hallucinating everything. But I will admit, it's probably soda. Maybe. It's almost as if spring trap. What's up, Amir? Now, I want you guys to look at this very closely. Everything's calm and then boom, everything gets out of control, right? It's almost as if someone set it all up. Ali. You mind telling the people what we think happened? I don't have a clear aspect on this theory, but I think you do, honestly. <laughs> I think Afton set this all up, right? It is kind of weird how they're saying, oh, the owner doesn't want to let go. He changed his whole alias. Not only did he turn it on, he also lured Michael there. And I might have been wrong. The phone guy might also be William. You know what I mean? But here's what's weird. When he turns off the power, what happens with Bonnie? So either they're alive on their own, spirits possessing them, like in the lore, or could it be like yeah. the animatronics are mechanical and then that messed them up? I don't know, maybe they're just like awakening, you know? Do you think they need electricity? I feel, that is kind of odd how they put that detail. The cafeteria, like the main, like FNAF 2. And now we all know where this is from. Okay. Foxy and Foxy Code. This 100% is a death that happens earlier in the film. And now listen to what she says. They searched Freddy's top to bottom. Mm -hmm. They never found them. Listen That's to this. why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. How does a police officer know that there's ghost children possessing them? And then not only that, she's kind of giving Michael the whole thing. Why is she telling Michael all of it? One, she could be a hallucination. Or two, she's working with William. Or maybe she's working with the animatronics. Or herself. three, she could be a past security guard. Good point. At some point in the movie, she starts going off on her own. Do you think this is before or after the, the whole power switch thing? Yeah. Hello? Okay. Look at this whole sequence. <laughs> Boom. Bonnie scares her. Remember that when he pulled the power down, everything went crazy? Where was the girl? So I'm assuming this happens like before that, the whole power thing. And I'm assuming the girl is telling Michael, oh my God, they're alive. And she's going crazy. And Michael's probably going to think, oh, she's just a crazy kid, right? Like Elise saying, oh, there's ghosts in your house. Ghosts are real. These four characters may or may not be significant. We see him get killed later in this trailer. That's right why here. the place shut down. Right here. Yeah. 100% he yeah. gets killed later on. So they are kind of spoiling he does die. And this is, uh, this I think this is Springtrap. Honestly, I think this is, or like Golden Bonnie. It further yeah, proves this. Look, so we got Freddy, we got Foxy, and then we have Bonnie. Now we need to know who are these two. This could be Chica, and this could be Golden Freddy or whatever. This could be Evan or like whatever they're going with, Michael Brooks. And this 100%, this whole sequence right here is 100% hallucination. Technically, they're animatronics. And she corrects them. Technically, they're animatronics. And right here, you see Freddy wow. right here. Which is interesting how he has blue eyes and also Golden Freddy has blue eyes. Yeah, Bonnie has red. This, that right there, honestly, could be a jump scare. Foxy kind of freaks you out or whatever. This scene where she walks back is 100% after this. Golden yeah, Freddy brings her back to the place, and then you see her go back. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby. Which is interesting. Because I don't think in the lore, I mean, the lore, like, they think of the endoskeleton. But that is kind of odd. Like, they wanted to turn her into one of them. Because it's William who's responsible for that, right? So either she doesn't know what she's talking about, hallucination, or she's working with William. He could honestly be mechanical. Right here. Who is that? Golden Bonnie or Springtrap. Oh, Balloon Boy. Yeah, ba ba Balloon Boy is here. And you see them coming alive, right? <laughs> and now this is very weird. This could honestly represent the bite that happened. It could honestly be a hallucination. But with this know. movie, it's like you you, you could be like, you don't know what's- They're what's cutting going, it you know? really well. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot are. of ways this could go. This yeah. is a different girl. This is not the same girl, like the, the one that came. She looks uh, too old. And I believe that's Freddy. It's too late. And then they crop it a Foxy. And now we get the homie, the, the psycho. We got William, which is interesting because how is he in spring trap suit without spring lock scene? My nephew thinks we're going to get the spring lock scene, but honestly, it could just be this guy right here could just be in the suit. It could be like, like a superhero suit and there might not be, there might not have been a spring lock scene in this verse. But personally, I wish there would be a spring lock scene, you know? Bobby, go! <laughs> okay, now that's an interesting sequence, right? Because are is, are they really running away from Springtrap? Or could it be the four original animatronics? 
it's kind of weird how they cropped it. They might want you to think it's Springtrap, but in all honesty, it could 100% be the other animatronic. This is really vague. You know, remember the scene where the arm gets dragged? Could be him getting dragged by Springtrap and then getting to the next scene of this. 100% this is a hallucination. The cop, and then she gets put in the hospital. So maybe I am crazy or think she's a hallucination or an op. I will say this is 100%. This is 100% a monitor. Like him looking at them, being you know, that guy, and then Springtrap. The way they're cutting it kind of makes me assume that they want us to believe it's Springtrap, but I don't believe it's actually Springtrap chasing them. I think the whole point of the movie, they're going to say, oh, the animatronics try to get to Michael and the girl, but the animatronics aren't actually evil. I think Springtrap will be the underlying evil character, and he's going to probably pop up at the end. And this whole scene, yeah. I'm going to be honest, I think Springtrap did put him in this scene. Where? And this epic scene, we got Dude. the goat. My guy, Golden Freddy. It is weird he's not in the building and he's following the girl, but it could be Golden Freddy's protecting the girl. So we could have like a whole thing, oh, the animatronics are bad, they're trying to stuff from the suit, but no, in reality, they're protecting the girl from Springtrap. And we don't really see Springtrap till the very end, is what I'm saying. Golden Freddy's literally like coddling her, like, you know what I mean? Like he's definitely protecting her. And look, she's holding his hand. Right? Shout out to her. I'm a little jealous. But th it, this definitely proves my theory of the animatronics actually being good and them being misunderstood. I and that's pretty much it. So my nephew got stuffed in an animatronic suit. He's gone. Now let's get on to the fun part. The theories, you could already see the theory I'm building is, oh, they're going to present the animatronics as the bad guys. But you're going to see William pulling the strings behind the scenes. He literally changed his whole identity. Michael might have been adopted in this universe. William is the driving force to pull Michael and Abby into the place. And then you're going to see the animatronics actually good guys. Gordon and Freddy's definitely going to be the biggest uh, protector of the girl because he's literally with her. I, I feel like it's going to end with William losing losing the animatronics being free and in this whole movie verse golden freddy doesn't seem like the vengeful spirit he just wants to protect the girl so i'm assuming this is all gonna go well they're gonna win william will lose but they could have a sequel but i don't believe there will be a sequel to this i think that this would be a one-off or my craziest theory is all of this is fake this is a whole hallucination by uh custom knight golden freddy and basically he's like basically michael got caught and then this is canon and yeah, probably not true, right? <laughs> My best guess for the cop is she's probably an ally, but she's probably knows more than she lets on. She probably has a deeper connection with the kids, the animatronics. Golden Freddy will be the goat. Golden Freddy will be the final one to put down William. My prediction. All right, everyone. Sorry, my nephew got stuffed in an animatronic suit. This has been an awesome video. We broke it down and everything. We could have done it a little bit more in depth, go scene by scene or whatever, but we kind of wanted to let it flow more, let them speak, and really give you guys a pretty deep breakdown and give you guys some theories and whatever. All right, everyone. This is like the first time I've ever done like a breakdown or whatever. Sorry, my nephew left. It is what it is. All right, everyone. It's been your boy, Doc D. Love you guys. And deuces. Quarter phrase to go.